Chris Eubank Jr. says Liam Williams is the front runner for his next fight. Now, I personally like this fight. I think Liam Williams has got nowhere else to go at this point. He had his world title shot against Demetrius Andrade, which didn't work out for him. He put up a good effort. He hurt Andrade, but ultimately it wasn't good enough and his attempt failed. So what's the next best thing? He's not going to get a fight probably against Munguia or Charlo or you know any of the other guys out there at the moment. So Eubank Jr., it's a good fight for him. And it's a good fight for Eubank Jr. because, again, he's trying to crack that upper level in the middleweight division and get himself a title shot. And if he can do a better job on Liam Williams than, let's say, Demetrius Andrade did, then that could be a stake in the ground to say, hey, you guys need to recognize me. You guys need to acknowledge me. Who's that wrestler that says you need to acknowledge me? I forget the guy's name. <laughs> you guys put it in the comments below. But yeah, Eubank Jr. against Liam Williams is a fight I like. I wonder if Eubank's promoter and the broadcaster Sky have had a whisper in his ear about Liam Williams and told them, uh, told him, excuse me, that they really want that fight to take place. Because prior to this, Eubank Jr. was very dismissive of Liam Williams and he was acting like he's an irrelevance and, you know, he doesn't care about him. He did say that if the fans want it, but again... He wasn't saying that's my likely next fight, but now apparently that's what he's saying. That it's his likely next fight. Now, I did see Eubank Jr.'s fight on the weekend, and my personal view is okay, he didn't look spectacular, he didn't look amazing. The guy came out southpaw when Eubank Jr. expected an orthodox. The guy was relatively negative and he was counter punching on the back foot. Eubank Jr. has always had an issue with technical boxers, and people were saying, that he should have forgot, you know, forgotten about trying to be a Roy Jones Jr. clone and gone back to what he used to do, which is charge forward with reckless abandon, basically letting his hands go and trying to overwhelm this guy. And it might have worked against this guy, but what Eubank Jr. is doing, and I think it's the right thing, is he's trying to become more competent at long range. And it's a process. It's not going to happen overnight. So the stuff Roy Jones Jr. is teaching him some people might be frustrated by him trying to put it in practice in the ring. And if you're going to put it in practice in the ring, you want to be first trying it against guys like this. You don't want to be trying it for the first time against a world-class opponent. You want to try it against guys like this first. That's how you perfect it. That's where you figure out, okay, it doesn't work quite well, quite as well this way. Let me adjust it and do it differently next time in a slightly different way and so on. So it's a process. I understand it's a process. I know he isn't getting any younger. Eubank Jr. is in his early 30s now. But I've always felt that he needs some help in terms of uh, handling himself at long range against the better boxers out there. And Roy Jones Jr.'s teaching, picking up a little bit of that Roy Jones Jr. style, will help him to some degree. Whether it'll help him enough to succeed at the highest level is another matter. Perhaps it doesn't matter who you bring to train Eubank Jr. Maybe it doesn't matter whether you teach him to have better pressure fighting skills. Maybe he's just always going to fall short. That's very possible, okay? But I think trying to round out his skill set, round out his toolkit, is better than not trying to round it out. You know, you, you might... See, you might be surprised at some point in the future where Eubank Jr. fights a world level opponent. And remember, you weren't impressed by his uh, pound shot Roy Jones impression in some of his other fights. But all of a sudden, he fights this world class fighter. And rather than doing what you expect him to do or what you want him to do, which is to go in like the old Eubank Jr., all of a sudden, he's trying this Roy Jones, you know, pound shot Roy Jones stuff. And it's working against the top guy. And you're thinking, hang on, how did this not work that well against Journeyman, but somehow against this top guy, bam, all of a sudden, the planets are all aligning and this stuff is actually working for him. Because like I say, it's part of a process. You have to get comfortable doing these moves and fighting in this style before you become effective doing it. You understand? So personally... I like what Eubank Jr. is doing. Whether it's good enough to work at top level, I don't know. Uh, perhaps it will, perhaps it won't be. But I like the fact that he's trying to flesh out 
his toolkit and just have more strings to his bow and doesn't have to look spectacularly impressive against this level of opponent who he fought, who was a late substitute, who did fight Southpaw, who was awkward and counter-punching. Uh, it is what it is. The Liam Williams fight is something I like, and that might be a fight where Eubank Jr. gets to show you how effective this pound shop Roy Jones Jr. skill set he has actually is. Because Liam Williams, is he world class? He's at least fringe world level, isn't he? And he would be the best fighter Eubank Jr.'s fought for several fights. He did fight, uh, what's the guy called now? Who dislocated his shoulder, the same guy who fought Charlo. Oh, I always forget this guy's name. <laughs> he got stopped by Andy Lee. I think that was his fight. I always forget his name. God, getting old. <laughs> but that guy was a good fighter. Since that guy, Williams would be the best that Eubank Jr. has fought. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you be picking Liam Williams over Eubank Jr.? I want to say there's going to be a lot of people in the comment section of this video. And if the fight gets signed in subsequent videos who are picking Liam Williams and some of them are going to be just genuinely of the belief that Williams is a better fighter, but a lot are going to be doing it because they don't like Eubank Jr. They think he's pretentious. They think he's a pretender and they want to see him get his comeuppance again. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people doing that. Be careful as a boxing fan when you fall into that mold. Because that's usually when you get your feelings hurt. <laughs> when you have a real emotional vested interest in an outcome to the point where it's influencing your prediction, the way you think the fight is going to go. You see it. Although some people say that's part of the fun. Believing that one guy is going to win so much and then you go on this emotional roller coaster during the fight and then after the fight, oh gosh, all that kind of thing. So uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Eubank Jr. versus Liam Williams.